This African cocktail coming to you from Africa Radio 61497-5097. We are now moving to London where we have the publisher of Fab Afrique magazine. Her name is Adeline Kamga City, who is now on the line to tell us about her latest projects. Adeline, welcome to the 60th episode of the show. Thank you, Ernest. How are you doing today? I'm all right, uh, Adeline, except for the fact that uh, Ebola has been uh, clinching us to the ground, eh? and um, it's a gloomy atmosphere out there, I must say. I understand. We must put everything in the hands of the Lord. Definitely. You know, He is a giver and a taker, so oh. we must believe in Him right. and keep praying. Hmm. We have to keep because praying. Because of the souls of the departed, yeah. Right. Hmm. So, Adele, it's a bright day here in Columbus, Ohio. How is it out there in London, UK? Um, it has been a bit um, sunny in the morning and then cold in the afternoon. So I think we're just catching a glimpse of sun sunrise again. Right. In the British unpredictable weather, we, we you know, you never show sure what you're getting. The world is hmm. sunny, so that's fine. Sure. And so, uh, Adele, you run Fab Afrique magazine, as I've announced uh, earlier on, and you are also a blogger. You recently organized a forum that brought together Cameroonian online uh, reporters, dubbed uh, Bloggers uh, Hangout. That was in Douala, Cameroon. Uh, we will come back to that. Eh? Um, but first, uh, could you just tell me, which after this deliberation, have you noticed any change uh, on Cameroonian websites, especially the ones uh, that cover entertainment. I know uh, you were out there to talk about uh, the improvements that should be made on Cameroonian websites. Yeah, I think what I've noticed so far, and I see that lots of people are sharing, you know, lot, many more people are sharing their articles. Right. At first, I could hardly see anybody sharing or, or, or promoting what they've written, but now, Strangely, most people are sharing the articles on different groups, different platforms, and I think they're picking up some of the good tips that they got on the day. Mm. Yeah, so that's one of the key changes I've noticed. Right. So, so briefly, what do you think uh, should be done to accelerate uh, this improvement everyone yearns for? Well, to, um, to the best of my knowledge, for for the community work is, is what's going to really help others to, you know, to come out of their shelf. Also, competition needs to be heavy and strong. Right. If somebody knows that you're doing something, you know, that you're doing something similar to what you're doing, hmm. and if they say it's what they want to take seriously, then they are bound to get up and do it better because at the end of the day, they want to be best at what they do. Hmm. So competition is something that we have to promote and we have to accept. Yeah. Also, the Cameroonian community out there needs to be on their guard with regards to where to get information. And they have to like, comment, and share this information. Hmm. If you do not promote or if you do not support or if you do not think now that you've actually read something somewhere, these people might get discouraged and they might stop, you know, writing or blogging. So we're begging on the Cameroonian community to join in this revolution, comment, share, just make a sign, show a sign that you've actually, you know, read or noticed right. something. Like, comment on, and of course, share information. Her name is uh, Adeline Kamgasede. She's the publisher of Fab Afrique magazine. Uh, Adele, I understand your nursing plans to organize another uh, Cameroonian uh, bloggers rencontre. Uh, when precisely will this hold and what will be the nature of this meeting and what issues will you be handling this time around? Yeah, we're looking at this around the, between the 17 and the 20th of August. We've not yet decided and this one is going to be an online bloggers hangout. Right. The online bloggers hangout is an opportunity for diasporian bloggers to join the bloggers in Cameroon um, to share some of their main concern. What we're going to be talking about is, of course, we're going to be touching the most um, important issue, the Ebola. We're going to be discussing about the Ebola. We're also going to be discussing some of the difficulties that people have in sharing information. Right. But then we're still deliberating on the on the core, on the key theme of this event, which I shall be able to share with you once we've decided, and you can share to your audience through your other platforms. Hmm. But yes, there's another one coming up between the 17th and the 20th of August. It's going to be two charts, bloggers hang out, camera bloggers hang out, two charts. So if anybody want to join us, please send me an email, adeline.sede at fabafric.com. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now, uh, this seems to be uh, a new... Uh, uh, I mean, this seems to be new. How often do you intend to have these meetings and what is the raison d'etre for organizing them, Adele? Well, you know, if you, if you forget or if you relent your effort in trying to rally um, or initiate a change, then nothing is going to happen. Hmm. So we are looking at uh, um, every two months to host at least one of these. And apart from the fact that we're trying to join the Diasporians in these, we want this to be a home brand. We want this to be something that we're doing at home. And because doing this at home is purely promoting bloggers in Cameroon to, you know, to blog, to have somewhere that they can go and hang out, to have something that they can say. So bloggers at home, we really want to promote them, so we'll be doing it every two months. Right. You know, mm. inshallah. Right. Uh, Adele, um, the glamorous event uh, that was organized to launch uh, Fab Africa magazine is still fresh in my mind. Uh, two years after this <laughs> launching, how is Fab magazine doing? In Cameroon, Fab Africa magazine is um, we when we when we decided to launch Fab Africa magazine in Cameroon, we were thinking of you know bashing all the news agents, sharing the magazines on the road, just making sure as many people as possible mm. own Fab Africa magazine. But what we realized uh, is that that's not the strategy we want to use going forward. Fab Africa magazine is a very premium quality magazine. It beats most of the magazines out there in Cameroon, if not all, which I can gladly say. It beats all the magazines that I've seen in Cameroon, except some really um, in foreign magazine that has been imported. And we have decided to do some of the magazine to, you know, distribute a strategic, you know, strategic locations like hotels and resorts hmm. and big companies and also on subscriptions. Right. So news agents, you have a few before stations who are who, who stop the magazine on but he, you know we, we want to make sure we target the right audience and the people that actually purchase a copy of our free magazine are those who can actually afford to buy some of the, the goods that uh, product, also more the product that are advertised hmm. by our advertisers. Right. So it's it's doing all right in Cameroon. While in the UK, it's um the team in the UK is even stronger than they were before. And we're working on the next two issues right now. And we're calling on anybody who has something to submit. It could be a finance relationship. If you're out there and you're listening to me today and you're a writer, then please do get in touch and submit an article for an opportunity for the article to be published hmm. on a glossy print magazine. Right. And so, uh, she has said it, it beats uh, many, if not all, magazines on newsstands in Cameroon. Adele, what are some of the big stories uh, that are featured in this magazine so far? Well, what we, what we tend to do with our magazine is we tend to, apart from the editorial, which is always the very hard article, most often the editorial covers any current event at that time. Like the last issue, what we covered was the World Cup, and we tend to look at the, you know, the African teams that are representing Africa at the World Cup, and then we did an editorial of their past activities and how we, est uh, you know, how we estimate, oh, sorry, how we're thinking they're going to perform during the World Cup. We also talked about the general issues surrounding the African football, like the coaches and the, you know, the management team of being African and the, the learning style as well. So that was a big issue at the time and that was what was covered. Um, the, the next issue is going to be more on technology and we're going to be doing a strong editorial on technology in Africa, the effect and what we expect in the next few mm. years. But minus that, we have some light rich articles like relationship and parity. We also have some uh, glossy fashion pages. Um, we're looking at issues that affect people in their careers. I have a column that I do, and this column is purely on an HR base because, um, you know, the job career progression and stuff. With my HR background, I've tried to make sure most people have the opportunity of reading something that can actually help them in their career from where they are today to where they want to be. So, yeah, that's what you can find in from Africa Magazine, parenting, relationship, cuisine, African super weddings, and, you know, lifestyle, really, tourism in Africa, and some big stuff, too. Hmm. 
Right, Adele, we are about to run off this conversation. I happen to have uh, run a magazine myself, and I know it's not biscuits, it's not chocolate, it's not candy, call it whatever you, you want. So what are some of the challenges uh, you face running Fab Africa magazine? Hello? Okay, we're sorry about that. We've lost uh, our guests from the UK, Adele uh, Kamga City, the publisher of Fab Afrique magazine. Well, um, we actually got her message. Okay, um, we will be back with you. Just time for us to listen to this. Finding.